Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a Geneva wheel. Let's begin by activating the circle command. We're going to make the radius of our circle 8 units. Enter. Now let me place a couple of lines. I'll toggle ortho mode on. The first line will be 11 units. Press enter to accept. And one more line. Let's toggle ortho off. The length of this second line doesn't matter so much, but it does need to be 30 degrees away from the first line or 150 degrees. Press enter. Now when I say 30 degrees away from the first line, I mean that the angle between those two lines needs to be 30 degrees. Let's create another circle now. We'll give it a radius of 4.5 units. Now I'm going to create a point along the second line that's 5 units from the center of the circle. It's possible to do this in a few different ways. For example, I can create a second circle that's got a radius of 5 units. The intersection between this line and my circle will be my point. But let's try it in a different way. I'm going to use the measure tool. First, I'm going to type in DDP type into the dynamic input box. What I want to do is change the point style so I can better see the point. OK. And let's activate the measure tool. Now select the line we want to measure. The length of the segment is 5 units. Enter. And here's our point. Let's delete the second point. Now I'm going to break the line at this point. I don't really have to, but let's do it anyway. Select the line, and now the point. Now I'm able to select and delete this point. Let's apply an offset now. The distance of the offset, 0 0.5 units, enter. Let's select this line, offset on both sides. Let's place another circle now. And we're ready to trim. Activate the Trim command. Press Enter to select the Trim All option. And I left click to trim my geometry. Right click and erase. Let's window select the geometry to erase. And right click to execute the delete. Next, let's activate the Polar Array command. First, I'll select the objects to include in the array with a window selection. Right-click to finish the selection. Now I'm going to specify the center point of the array. That'll be the center point of my circle. Number of items, 6. Press Enter. Angle to fill, 360 degrees. Enter. And press Escape to close the tool. Let's activate the Trim tool again. Press Enter to select the Trim All option. Left click to trim our geometry. And escape to exit the tool. Oops, I did miss some segments. Let's activate the trim tool again. Press enter to trim all. And let's just get these little segments here. Last one, press escape to exit the trim tool. Next step, we need to create a closed profile. But first, let's activate the explode command so we can explode this array. Select the array. Right-click to finish the selection. Now let's use the Edit Polyline tool to create a closed profile. Right-click, Multiple, Window Select our geometry. Right-click to finish the selection, Convert to Polyline, Yes. Now select the Join option. For the fuzz distance, let's enter 0, press Enter, and Escape to close the tool. Now we've got a closed profile. Let's take a home view now. Activate the Extrude command on the Modeling panel. Select our profile. Right-click and Enter to finish the selection. Now let's set the height at 1 unit. And press Enter to accept. Next, we need to create a center hub. Let's bring in a cylinder. The center of the circle will be the center of our cylinder. 2 units radius for the cylinder. Press Enter. 
and the height, also two units. Press Enter again. Now I'm going to create the shaft hole with another cylinder. Same center point. Radius is going to be 1.25 units. Press Enter. The length doesn't matter as long as it goes through the entire solid. Next step, we need to create a keyway slot. To do this, I'm going to use a box primitive. We'll make it 0.2 by 1.5. Enter. And for the height, we'll just drag down the solid so that it goes through the whole solid. Let's activate the Move Faces tool now. Select the face to move. Right click and enter to finish the selection. Now choose a base point and the second point. Escape to exit. Let's activate the solid combine command now. Select the wheel. Select the hub cylinder and right click to finish the selection and execute the combine. Now let's do a solid subtract. Select the wheel, right click. Now select the cylinder and the rectangle. That's what we're subtracting, right click. And we're done. We're currently in 2D wireframe. Let's switch to realistic view so you can better see what we've accomplished here. And here is our Geneva wheel. This concludes exercise 60. In our next exercise, 61, we're going to be building another bracket.